Picture Cube is a unique 3D fabric system used to create modular yet portable displays in a variety of sizes. Lightweight aluminum extrusions with fabric panels provide amazing stability and breakdown for compact shipping. To get started on a Picture Cube assembly, remove the cube hardware from the case. A number of different case sizes are available for different Picture Cube frames. The frame we are setting up today is a 12 foot tower. It fits into an oval shipping case. Extrusion lengths are packaged in protective plastic sleeves inside vinyl drawstring bags. Corner connections are boxed, as are the lights. Feet and hanging hardware and small connectors will be found in plastic bags. A care kit is included with a plastic drop cloth, cotton gloves, Allen wrench, and spare set screws. Lay out the extrusion lengths for the picture cube being built and identify all the part locations. Refer to the instructions for extrusion lengths in cube diagrams. Make sure to save the boxes, plastic sleeves, drawstring bags, and light bulb enclosures for repackaging. Extrusion segments are joined by corner connectors with three rectangular pegs. Unpack the corner connectors from their boxes. In some configurations, there will also be straight connectors used to join multiple straight extrusion sections together. Build the base of the structure first. Start by using the corner connectors to join the extrusions that will make up the base and top of your frame. Loosen the set screws already installed in the extrusion pieces with the Allen wrench until you can slide the corner peg into the base extrusion. Then tighten the set screws. For all internally lit picture cube towers, a top crossbar to hang the lights from is required. This crossbar is attached to the opposing top horizontal extrusion. Now join the vertical extrusions with straight connectors. Again, loosen the set screws until you can slide the straight connection into the extrusion. Take care that the grooves in the extrusion align with each other. Moving between the extrusion's set screws will help keep grooves aligned. Once all the sections have been joined together, add the vertical lengths to the base and top sections. Standing frames require the installation of four corner feet. This creates a space for electrical cords to run under the frame for internal or external lighting. The multi-purpose foot includes an eye bolt so that it can also be moved to the top of the structure for cubes that will be rigged from the ceiling or other structural hardware. Tower heights of 161 inches and 184 inches require a cross brace assembly to prevent hourglassing of the structure and maintain a consistent fabric tension throughout the unit. Start by assembling the four equal truss tube bars to the cross brace assembly using truss blocks. Next, add the straight picture cube to truss connections into the slots in the vertical extrusions and position them in the approximate center of the vertical spans. Then add the cross brace assembly and tighten the set screws. Installing the fabric panels. Fabric panels are stored in zipper bags. A flexible strip sewn onto the edge of the fabric is inserted into the extrusion channel. Panels will be marked numerically on the flexible extrusion. Refer to the graphic layout reference when provided. A silver tab is sewn to the bottom of the panel to aid with removal. A drop cloth and white gloves have been supplied in the care kit to help keep the fabric clean during installation. While the frame is still lying on its side, start at the top left hand corner and press the edge of the fabric panel into the extrusion channel along the top section. Work the panel edge into each of the side extrusions stopping one third of the way down. Now move to the lower extrusion and insert the fabric edge along the entire length. Finish inserting the panel edge into each of the side extrusions all the rest of the way down. Repeat for the first three sides of the fixture cube. Leave the last panel off to be able to install the lights. Internal lighting. Unpack and assemble the light fixtures. Screw in the CFL bulbs at this time. The light fixtures are hung from the ceiling crossbar. Tip the frame right side up to install the lights. Start by hooking the light hanging bracket over the crossbar center. 
Next, attach the first fixture hanging cable through the hole in the bracket and secure the second cable bead into the slotted portion of the hole. The remaining light fixtures are hung from the first fixture by connecting the first cable bead of every subsequent fixture into the hanging slot of the above fixture and plugging in the power cord to the previous fixture. If the power is being provided from below, route the cord up the middle of the structure along with the lights, making sure that the top light fixture cord loops over the light bar before plugging it into the power cord. The power cord can be clipped to the U-channel in the side of each fixture. The cords must be kept close to the light source to avoid shadows. The fixtures are designed for low wattage CFL bulbs. Never replace the bulbs with a wattage higher than the listed value or with any other type of bulb as the heat may melt through the closely strung cords. Test your light string before installing the last fabric panel. Install the last fabric panel to complete your structure. After completing the installation of the picture cube assembly, minor adjustments to the fabric panels may be necessary for closer alignment of the graphics. Diamond Cube Installation Follow the installation steps for building the picture cube frame. The diamond frame has a corner package that contains a hang corner with double eye hooks. A cable can be applied to the top corner for hanging the assembly. To keep the cube from spinning, an anti-rotation eye bolt can be added to one of the corners. This eye bolt should never be used to hang the picture cube frame since it may unscrew by turning up the structure. Lighting the diamond cube. Diamond cubes require a light fixture which is clustered in the center of the unit. For this application, start by screwing the hanging rod into the bottom side of the light fixture assembly bracket, and then add the eye nut provided to the top side where the threaded portion of the rod extends through the assembly bracket. An eye bolt is provided and should be screwed onto the inside tapped hole of the structure's south pole corner. In this application, the two identical cable assemblies and carabiners provided will be used to attach the fixture assembly between the north pole, the hanging corner, and the south pole eye bolt. Install the bulbs and run the power cord. It is necessary to tether the light fixture between the poles of the structure so that the bulbs will not become vulnerable should the structure be turned over to install the remaining graphics. It would also prevent bulb breakage during the rigging process. For additional information, refer to the instructions included with your picture cube frame.